You can definitely see cup, cup. I will not be wearing this to the gym. You won't see me stepping out in this. friends what is up welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Tracy we do a lot of fitness and lifestyle content here at least we did like last month or so but I did take a little bit of a hiatus because your girl was super super sick and it has been a struggle to get back on track but I figured what better way to start getting back on track than to introduce a new buff bunny collection collection <laughs> the inner light collection launches this Saturday at 1 p.m. central time and I have all the details that you need to know prior to launch so stick around I'll go through everything that's launching all the fabrics colorways fit and feel and I did pick out a couple pieces in multiple sizes to test out for you guys so we have a little bit of variety sprinkled in there but without further ado let's begin I'm not gonna lie I was a little bit bummed out by how small this collection is as seen by the shortened launch time frame of being a week versus two but because there are so many new pieces that are launching it kind of makes up for it but the inner light collection draws inspiration from Heidi home state of Alaska where she's been able to experience the northern lights growing up and the whole motto behind the campaign is that even in the darkest moments of life there is still light to be found I just love that overall but not only do I love that she draws inspiration time and time again from her home state but also through the campaign video I loved watching it so much it was so wholesome and essentially it was just about paying it forward through acts of kindness taking the life lessons that she was able to learn through seeing the northern lights and applying that to day-to-day -day life I just love the campaigns that Buff Bunny collection does they're just like the cutest Thing. Moving on to colors and fabrics that are launching. There are a lot of different like pops of color as seen in the green lights, pink lights, Alaska. But then we also have those darker, more muted colors as well. And I feel like it's the perfect transition into the fall season. And last but not least, we do have a couple neutrals here with eggshell, ivory, and white. In terms of fabrics that we're going to be seeing, we have Nubri, Elysium, Butter, and the Lux fabric. I'm pretty familiar with all of these fabrics other than the Lux fabric, but it looks like the only thing launching in Lux is going to be the recycled crew pullover. Anything with modal, I'm obsessed with. The most perfect four-way stretchy fabric. I've heard only good things about the Lux fabric, but other than that, Nubri, Elysium, and Butter we've seen before. The Butter fabric was introduced in the cake collection in the corset crop that I'm wearing right now, as well as the corset legging. It's basically the sister to Nubri in the sense that it is very brushed, very soft to the touch, but it does err on the thinner side, and it's just a lot stretchier as well. I would consider butter to be the low compression brushed fabric, whereas Nubri is going to be the more dense, a little bit thicker, more plushy brushed fabric. And then last but not least, we've seen Elysium before. It's their classic performance fabric. Now moving on to what is launching, we have four different categories, I guess you could say. We have the Aurora capsule, the Legacy capsule, the Curve capsule, as well as Rosa. Showing the screenshot right here of all the pieces that are launching, you can just kind of see going across the different rows that for the Aurora legging, you also have the six inch short as well as the bra. For curve, you have the leggings, the four inch shorts, and then the curve bra, so on and so forth. And last but not least, I'll post the FAQ up here for you guys. Before we actually dive into the review of the pieces, I'll put my sizing somewhere up here on the screen. I did choose a couple different sizes, like I mentioned before, sized down in a couple of things, and some of them work, some of them haven't. So across all the brands that I work with, I'm now finding that I'm in between an extra small and small for bras and tops, whereas for leggings, I'm a true size extra small. I feel like I don't really have a true size in tops anymore. <laughs> Depending on how I like things to fit, I'll let you guys know what size I got and, you know, go on with the review there. So just wanted to make a note of that. So I'm going to start off with butter pieces and then I'll move on to Nubri slash other fabric type pieces. But first and foremost, we have the Curb Sports Bra. I picked her up in a size small in the white and then extra small in the navy. And I'll put this down for a second here. This bra is so beautiful, you guys. I had to get a workout in it ASAP just because I love me a little short line bra moment. This is definitely short torso girly friendly, which I've been begging a buff Bunny collection to come out with shorter line sports bras because longer line sports bras on me personally just make me look like a tree stump and I find that I always roll the band down anyway so having a sports bra like this where it's shorter aligned hits quite literally right underneath your bust it's just so so flattering this bra is definitely a high neck sports bra I have to note that this hole is very small for your head like I just washed this freaking bra for this video and there's already a little bit of makeup on here from me doing the try on clip 
and yeah, it was a struggle getting this over my head. Comes down very low on the sides right here, and it does show a little bit of armpit fat. So if that's something that you are very conscious of, then just be aware that it does scoop rather low. Now, if we look down here, there truly is no bottom band. It's literally just the seam kind of tucking the inner fabric from the outer. And with that being said, I was very, very nervous for the sports bra. I was afraid that if I rose my arms up, then everything was gonna come shoop, flying out, or at least that was my experience with previous bras that kind of had a curved under bust like this, but I was very pleasantly surprised. I felt held in the entire time. And one of the girls in the Buff Bunny Collection affiliate team actually asked some of the girls in the bigger titty community if they had any issues with the bra rising up, did they like the fit of the bra? And so many girls said that they loved this bra. So I'm led to believe that this is titty friendly for all girls of all communities. Other than that, the silhouette is very simple in the front. It does come with nude cup pads. I think you'll see in the try on clip, but in the light, you can definitely see cup, cup. I don't know what it'll look like if I changed it out for white, but in the nude, you could definitely see it. But if we turn this bra to the back, the silhouette is just so gorgeous. It features a very thin racer back that sits right in the middle of your back. So there's no digging in. The straps are very stretchy. And once again, this is in the butter fabric. So the fabric overall is very forgiving and very stretchy. And then following the bra all the way down, you have a thin band right here. And it does mirror the same exact seams from the front as well, where it's essentially just the fabric folding in on itself. But other than that, there isn't an actual bottom band, if that makes sense. Regardless, this bra fits so freaking well. I would definitely label this a medium to high support on me solely because of the high neckline. I just felt really held in all good. If you were in between sizes, I would absolutely recommend to size up. The reason why I'm not showing this bra is because I picked this up in a size extra small. With how forgiving butter fabric is, I was like, okay, maybe I fit an extra small and a small would be too big. No, girl. It just looks so tiny. Didn't even try it, hence why I have the tag on here still. I just pulled this out of the bag for the video, but there's just no way this was going to fit me. You can actually even tell the difference right here, me holding it up. The small is a lot bigger than the extra small, so couldn't go wrong with sizing up that's for sure but overall love this bra next up let's talk about these curve bottoms so i have the four inch short as well as the curved legging so i'll put the leggings down and talk about the shorts first but this is going to be in the color alaska a very beautiful blue color we've actually seen this color in the frozen collection which brings me back to memories of me shopping my very first launch with buff bunny collection where i bought from their frozen collection so to see colors coming back from that collection as well as a collection inspired by by Alaska, which was also frozen. I'm like, throwback. Anywho, this is also made of the butter fabric. So again, very, very stretchy. This silhouette might look familiar to you with these little like contour seams because we've actually seen something very similar to this in the contour pocket legging, which is right there. So let me grab it real quick. And this is made in the Newbury fabric. So they brought it back in butter. The contour lines at the top waistband come up very, very close together. Whereas in the curve short, they're a lot wider out. And in addition to that, the waistband in the front is a little bit lower and it gets progressively higher. Whereas in the contour, it's the exact same through and through. The seam detailing is still very similar in the sense that the actual side seams are a little bit wider, whereas the waistband seam is a little bit thinner. I would say that it's similar and the design is probably inspired by the contour pocket short, but it is not the same. But putting that aside, this short, it just looks very short, right? <laughs> in the affiliate chat, we were having a field day about these shorts. We were like, is this truly four inch? Is it more like a two inch? Because it fits like the demi short, but it's actually measuring out to be a four inch short. So it was very confusing. So this is my take on this. This fits like a demi short, which as y'all know, is a two inch short that launched in the Storm collection from January, I believe. And because of the nature of this fabric being just so, so infinitely stretchy, Whenever you glide it up your body, it just sits differently. And because there's also no dig at the bottom seam whatsoever, it's just so much more prone to riding up and giving you that shorter inseam type of look. With that being said, y'all know that I don't like me a booty short. I need a five or six inch short. So I will not be wearing this to the gym. The only place I will be wearing this in is my home and my bedroom. <laughs> you won't see me stepping out in this. As you can see by the try on clip, it just rode up so much. I did a couple squats in 
using them and boop, it went up right in my booty cheek. And it was actually already up there beforehand, but this fit is labeled as a high rise fit. But to be honest on me, it was more so of a mid rise. And that's coming from me, a person who has a very short torso and I'm calling this a mid rise fit. It just like didn't fit me, right? I guess I should say. The front was super short. The bottom of the shorts were digging in. And if you turn to the back, this is labeled as a wedgie fit, meaning that the back seam, once you glide it up your leg, this glute seam is gonna go right up your booty crack, okay? And contrary to the corset legging that launched in cake, that legging, I feel like it slid down over time and it just had like a normal legging fit. It was just prone to sliding down after a while, hence why they did a top seam for the waistband. But with these, I think their way of eliminating that is to kind of like tighten up the waistband a little bit more while making the back rise a little bit shorter so that way you do have that wedgie fit. Overall, I just wish that they increased the length a little bit to account for the fact that the fabric is very stretchy. At the end of the day, this is not gonna be my top pick. Now on the flip side, some of my favorite leggings, if not my favorite, yeah, definitely my favorite legging that's launching in this collection is going to be the Curve legging. I picked her up in midnight in a size extra small. Oh, the shorts are also an extra small, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but guys, now that I have an initial length in these leggings, I'm obsessed with them. I love them so much more. Once again, made in the butter fabric, same exact details as the Curve shorts with the contour on the waistband going all the way down the leg. And this actually goes down from that top contour seam to the side of the legging. And then at the very bottom, kind of where your calf is, it curves inwards a little bit and just ends at that inner seam. You'll see that in the try on clip. Sorry if that was a little bit confusing. Other than that, there aren't a lot of details in this legging at all. It does feature that lower rise waistband and then kind of curves up in the side all the way to the back as well. No front seam, so no camel. And there is a slight little V at the front waistband as well. Turning to the back, no fluff, no nothing crazy at all. Just a very pronounced glute seam with again, the shortened glute height in the back. So you can really just hoisted up your glutes. And I actually measured the curve legging with the contour pocket short just to show you guys what that looks like. As we can see here, the rise of the leggings are actually the exact same. But once you get to the bottom, where you're looking at the length of the glute seam, you can just see right here that it is so much shorter on the curve legging, probably an inch higher even. So that way you really do get that wedgie fit. And I'm telling you guys, as soon as you pull these leggings on you and they glide up your little booty crack, <laughs> it just sits up there like a little wedgie. So it's not a scrunch. It just kind of sits up there. It's very comfortable. Love the fit of this. I can definitely see this being a true classic everyday legging that you wear to run errands, but also to train as well. If you're in between sizes for this legging, I would recommend sizing down. A size extra small is my true size. I wouldn't size up or down, but if you're in between sizes then and only then, would I suggest for you to size down because this material, once again, is very stretchy, very forgiving. Now that we're done with the butter fabric pieces, let's move on to the other. I watched Heidi's behind the design video and she mentioned that for the air net reversible crop, they don't have a name for the fabric yet. So this is still TBD, but I'm not gonna lie. Whenever I first saw this and put it on, I just thought it was butter. I couldn't tell the difference. It's a very thin brushed fabric, super soft to the touch, while also having a little bit of like a sheen to it as well. Pick this up in a size extra small, obviously in onyx black. It also comes in white as well. This top is very scandalous, right? But it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be because if you wanted to, like it says it in the same, you can literally just turn it around and it's just a full coverage top. I am always very cautious of reversible tops because I've had tops like this before where it's very like booby in the front and it doesn't really cover much at all. I'm always at risk for a nip slip. But then once I turn it around, then typically the collar is like choking me. You know what I mean? But not in this top. I love the fit of this top. It is so feminine with the wide scoop neck. I feel like it gives a little bit of like that collarbone sexy feminine look as well, if you may. Whenever I wore this, I put little white cup pads in and you could not see it through this fabric at all. So just know that this is opaque and you will be good to go if you put any cup pads in this. Like I said, I picked this up in a size extra small because whenever I've worn tops like this before, I'm always just gaping like right here at the neckline. So I figured, you know what, if I size down then hopefully that alleviates it and I'll just like push my titties over to the side so 
that way I'm not at a risk of a nip slip. And whenever I wore this, it fit me perfectly. I was held in, wasn't afraid of a nip slip at all, but I mean, I couldn't like raise my arms up or anything because you could definitely see under boob. But other than that, this fits so well. If you're in between sizes, then you can honestly go either or. Like I said, I typically like for tops to be very fitted on me. So in that case, I'll size down into an extra small, but regularly I am a size small. But I will say the sleeves are a little bit restrictive on me. If you're somebody who's very cognizant of how your arms look in tops and stuff like that, then I would say size up. I feel like I could wear a small and I'll be just fine, but I do prefer an extra small for a little bit more of a compressive fit. Let's go ahead and move on to new breeze. So I have here the Legacy Sports Bra, both in pink lights as well as Alaska. Picked up Alaska in a size small and then pink lights in a size extra small to test out both for you guys. Now, if you're an OG Buff Bunny collection fan, you'll recognize the silhouette of this sports bra being the herring hush bra I believe that's what it's called I wasn't here back in the day so I have no idea what that bra is but I've heard everybody say that name the herring hush bra herring hush bra so I'm like okay herring hush bra with a little bit of you know an upgrade in different colors and whatnot so <laughs> there you have it this is the first time we're introducing this colorway into the mix this color is very much a mix between Miami Vice as well as Pharaoh I saw a color comparison on Kara's story and it definitely looked like Pharaoh and Miami Vice had a little baby and out popped pink lights. It does feature this wider scoop neck up here. And then the band is just very thin overall, does fold in on itself. And it's a little bit denser at the bottom as well. The front of the sports bra isn't too crazy. There's nothing really going on here at all. It's more simple, but once you turn it to the back, then that's where the party hits because you have this little asymmetric moment where the strap kind of crosses back and it hits closer to the middle of the sports bra. There are three little straps right here that make up the other side of the sports bra that also crosses in the back gives you a little keyhole moment as well and it's just so unique you know just different from a typical cross back sports bra this is made out of the Nubri fabric so on me I would say that it's a solid medium support especially on a size extra small now there was a little bit of digging into my lap like you could just kind of see them spill over a little bit as well as just my back kind of spilling over in this portion of the bra in the back as well but in the front I was held in I could bend over be just fine there's no gaping, no spilling out at all, even whenever I turned onto the side and held my hands out in the front. With that being said, I would definitely suggest sizing down if you were in between in the sports bra because in a size small, like it fit me well. There wasn't any digging in at all and it was just overall a good fit, which is why now I just feel so like about my sizing in tops and bras because this fits me fine. And I feel like before, whenever I didn't really notice this gaping issue, I would have just been content with a size small because I'm like, okay, it fits me well. Nothing's digging in in at all. I'm comfortable. But once I turned over to the side and I raised my hands up, there was so much gaping here. I could not bend down at all without the girls like falling out and flashing the world. And so I think I would just rather prefer a little bit more of a compressive fit, a little bit of digging in. If it means that I'm held into the bra, nothing's falling out or even at risk of falling out. With the nature of wider neck bras, I find that with my anatomy and, and my boobs, that there is just a lot of gaping in these wider neck bras unless I size down. And this is across all the brands that I work with as well. With that being said, here is my sizing rack. If in wider neck sports bras, you've had issues where you've gaped before, size down if in between. If not, and you have a little bit of a fuller chest, then definitely stick true to size. Overall though, I love the bra. She's super cute. All right, last new Brie sports bra that I have to show with you guys is gonna be the Aurora sports bra in white in a size extra small. This bra was supposed to come out in the previous Naked collection that launched back in June, but the shipment came late, so they weren't able to release it until a couple weeks afterwards, but it only came out in the color Coco. So I bought a size extra small and once again that's because of this wider neckline it is a very wide like square neck once again with my history of wider neck sports bras gaping on me in the chest area I figured I might as well size down because that's worked for me every single time leading up to this point in these wider neck sports bras so it did the trick for me here too let's go ahead and talk details of this bra starting with the wider neckline as we can see here it very much is giving square at the sides here that come up into the straps. There's a seam coming down the sports bra and it goes all the way down to the bottom as 
as well. With this sports bra being a part of the Aurora set with the contrast shorts and whatnot, it just looks so good on every single person that it just makes you look like a little hourglass whenever you put it on. The bottom band of the sports bra, you can't even see it through the front, but if you turn the bra around, there's a lot going on in this bottom band that actually makes it very bulky once you have it on. There's just a lot of stitching going on here, and whenever I put it on, it just wasn't really comfortable, but I think that the additional seams and like the bulkiness at the bottom band is meant to give you a little bit of lift as well as support, which I did receive, but just be aware that because of how many seams there are at the bottom, there is very limited stretch and it was a struggle getting this on over my boobs because overall it was just very like tight. Whenever I turned to the side and did my little like gaping test, um, I guess I've done that for every single bra so I should just name it, but my little gaping test, this didn't happen where there was like a little bit of excess fabric there. It laid completely flat on me. I can bend over, be just fine, nothing's fallen out and we love to see that. But if we follow the straps from the top going to the back, it kind of creates this X shape. It comes in the middle just for a tad bit and it is sewn in right there, but then it fans back out onto the bottom band, which is rather thin down here. And I just love that because it's just so open. The back band does have the Buff Bunny Collection look go right there as well as those contour seams along the back which are so flattering and then the back band is the same all throughout with all of that stitching detailing right there so again not that stretchy at all but definitely holds you in keeps everything up. There was a little bit of like back fat right here that was kind of like bulging out of the bra as well as my lats kind of bulging out as well. So if we're talking about sizing, again, if you have a history with gaping in wider neck sports bras, I would honestly suggest sizing down. But if not, then just stick true to size. Last but not least, let's go ahead and talk about Nubri bottoms. So I have here the Aurora six inch short in Onyx black and white. Like I mentioned earlier with the Aurora sports bra, if I got it in the Onyx black and white, then it would literally be the perfect set because the contour seams on the bra actually match up perfectly with the seams on the short as well to really give you that like slimming hourglass type of figure. This short once again is very similar in shape to the contour pocket short and and I have it right here to show you guys, but I would say that the Aurora short is more similar to the contour pocket short than the curve shorts were because the waistband is still the same. The front doesn't kind of like go down low or anything. It's the same height overall. The contour seams do sit a little bit wider on the Aurora versus on the contour, but other than that, it is rather similar in terms of the contour placement and everything, but the seams on the Aurora shorts are going to be the same stitching overall versus on the contour and the curve where the waistband seam is a little bit thinner as we can see right there. This is once again a six inch short, has a high waisted waistband, double lined, no seam at the top whatsoever. There is a slight little V waistband seam with no front seam so no camel and I will say the bottom seam is a little bit invasive. It's kind of giving sausage thighs. I haven't had that issue in a while but I don't know what it is with these shorts but they did fit very compressively. It might just be the new brief fabric over all because Nubri does sit at a medium to high compression on me. I did find that these dug in a little bit and especially with the nature of this like contour line, I felt as if I couldn't really hike the shorts up because it would kind of like mess up the contour lines. I felt like I could only wear it at the six inch length and I had to be really careful about hiking the shorts up in order for the seams to sit the way that I wanted to, if that makes sense. The more I tugged this up my legs as it mirrors the thickest part of my thighs, the more it dug in and it just kind of got a little bit uncomfortable after some time. But if we turn to the back, there is a very pronounced glute seam back here with the same kind of like contour detailing in the back as well. Buff Bunny Collection logo right there, smack dab in the center. But other than that, the shorts pretty much look the same front to back, right? Like there's nothing crazy going on on either side. It is squat proof on me, but my biggest qualm about these shorts is that it did dig into my thighs and I just really don't like that. In Nubri, I would typically say size down like it is true to size like I would stick with your true size if you're in between sizes size up it'll be a little bit more comfortable and you won't have that dig in your thighs already home stretch you guys last but not least I have here the Aurora legging in onyx black with the pink lights as well this is a very simple legging overall made in the newbie fabric so definitely a medium to high compression on me there's nothing crazy going on other than this like piping along the waistband seam front 
and back. This silhouette of legging mirrors the Rosa legging, which I personally have never tried before. I've only ever tried the Legacy legging, but imagine the Legacy legging without the tri-seam detailing, and that essentially is the Rosa legging. <laughs> but yeah, this is just your basic staple legging for all the girls who just like black but are wanting a little bit of that pop of something extra, then this is gonna be your gal. It features a high-waisted, very high-waisted. I can't, I don't remember if this is ultra high-waisted or if it's just regular high-waisted, but this sat so, so high-waisted on me. I freaking knew it. Yeah, this is an ultra high-rise legging and it definitely fit as such because I could have been a tree stump if I wore a longer line sports bra with this legging. Turning to the back, we have the Buff Bunny Collection logo there back and center, but that's it, guys. This definitely fit as a high compression legging on me. I would normally say to size down if in between sizes for this legging, but honestly, I would size up and it's weird because typically for Nubri, I would recommend sizing down if in between sizes and maybe it's because it's black that makes it fit a little bit tighter but I just felt like these Nubri pieces just fit on the tighter side for me this time around so yeah um if between sizes then definitely size up in these leggings all right guys that is it for this collection and review I hope that you guys enjoyed and most importantly found this helpful. If I had to pick a favorite from this collection in terms of like a top and bottom, definitely going to be the curve sports bra as well as the curve legging. It's so well in this collection and I feel like that fit is the perfect fit for both in the gym and out. With that being said, y'all let me know down in the comments what is your favorite piece from this collection launching, what is in your shopping list, and if you are planning to shop the collection this Saturday at 1 p.m. Central Time, Code Tracy does save you 10% off of your entire order and if you have another discount code to use, then you can also support me using my support link. I'll put it down in the description for you guys as well. It supports me and lets the Buff Bunny Collection team know that you found my content helpful. And if you do choose to use my code or link, I appreciate you so much more than you know. Thank you so much in advance. And also let me know if you guys have any questions down below as well, and I'll answer them prior to launch. But if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more videos coming so, so soon. Follow me over on Instagram and TikTok at TracyBFit. I'll be doing a Q&A right before launch to answer all of your questions that you have beforehand. And with that being said, I will talk to you guys so, so soon. So, bye!